Hi, Liz from Cook Your Feed here. Um, today I'm going to show you one of my favourite store cupboard recipes, which is a jerk stew with red beans and rice. And so we start with the rice. So I've got a mug of brown rice going into a pot there. And I'm going to put some coconut straight in from a can. So I'm going to put that whole can in. With rice, you want double the volume of liquid to the volume of rice. So that's about a mug of rice and a mug of coconut milk. Those solids that have settled on the top of the can will melt as it heats up. So then I'm just going to put a mug of water in. And then I'm going to stick in this quarter of an onion. I'm just going to really roughly chop it and that's more for flavour and then a few cloves. It's a good idea to count how many cloves you put in so you can find them at the end because you don't want to get a mouthful of whole clove in the end. And some salt. So about a teaspoon of salt is good there. Okay and for the rice you also want to add some red beans or oh, I've got these um, beautiful calypso beans which I soaked and cooked myself and dry. So you just add that in with the rice, the coconut milk, the salt, onion and cloves. Give it a brief stir to get all those mixed in together. And then that's the only stirring you want to do there. Okay, just pop the lid on bring it to the boil and then turn the heat down to the lowest setting to simmer and the rice should absorb all the liquid in about, because it's brown rice, it will take about half an hour to 40 minutes. Okay, so I've also got a beautiful squash that I found in an Asian shop in Galway. Um, that's why I go for all my bulk spices at the moment. Um, so I'm going to chop this into big wedges and get it in the oven to roast as a really nice side to this dish. The side that I usually make with this is some wilted dark leafy greens, but I don't have any at the moment. But this will be so good as well. I'm going to save these seeds as well, this is such a nice squash. Look at that. So just scoop out the seeds, definitely saving these to grow. Hopefully we'll have our own house in 2021 at some point. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut it into fairly chunky wedges. So I've cut the squash into nice big chunks and I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of vegetable oil, or olive oil bit of salt and I've made my own homemade jerk seasoning so it's a mix of um, cinnamon, pepper, thyme, allspice, cane pepper, nutmeg, ginger, garlic and smoked paprika and I'll get that written up in the blog for you. So it's quite a nice spicy one to go with the sweet flesh of the squash goes so well. All right, so I'm just going to get these roasting while we make the stew. So they should only take about half an hour or so, maybe 40 minutes. Okay, so I've got a little bit of oil heating up in a large pot to make my jerk stew. So I'm just going to add some diced onion. not being too fine with it. I like quite a chunky stew. Some diced celery. Some diced pepper. The best way is to just cut it straight in half and then get your thumb up into the seed bit and just pull it out like that and then you don't get any waste on the top there, you see? just the green bit that's come out. You don't want to chop off this bit and waste all this lovely flesh. Just pull out the seeds like that. And then if you want, you can pull out any of these white 
pithy bits, which are perfectly edible. Yeah. Like so. And I'm just going to roughly dice that as well. And I'm going to add some diced carrot. You could also add some other wintry veg that are in season right now, like sweet or parsnip. Anything like that would be delicious in the stew. So while the stew is cooking down, um, before I add any liquid or any salt to the vegetables, which will draw out liquid, I'm going to add some of this jerk seasoning because I want it to kind of toast in the bottom of the pan and really enhance the flavours of the spices. Okay, so I'll just put maybe three, three or four heat, heat teaspoons in there. You can put as much as you like in, of course. And just give it a good stir until it's really fragrant. It smells amazing already. Just really coat the vegetables and the spices. So I'm just going to add another teaspoon there. Okay, so once it's super fragrant, you can add a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to add a good heaped teaspoon for now. You can add more later. You can't take it away. And then I'm going to drain these tins of jackfruit. I'll just use the same sieve that I used to drain the uh, calypso beans earlier. By the way, you could use like um, red kidney beans or black beans. Okay, so what you get out of the tin are these beautiful meaty looking chunks. So I just like to kind of break them up into the vegetables at this point. Still haven't added any liquid. So handy having these kind of tins of things in the cupboard for when you're towards the end of the week before your veg delivery arrives and you need something wholesome to eat. So I'm just going to give that a stir as well to coat the jackfruit in the spices. Keep an eye on the rice, it's nearly coming up to the boil now. And then I'm going to add a tin of tomatoes. Just some of these lovely chopped tomatoes and then I'm going to Two thirds fill the tin with water to swirl out all those last juices. And give that a stir and then make sure everything is kind of tucked down together into the liquid. Just gonna pop the lid on and let that simmer and stew while everything else gets ready. And the rice has just come to the boil, so I'm gonna turn that right down to the lowest setting, leave the lid on and let it carry on cooking until it's absorbed all the liquid. And of course every now and then check on the squash in the oven, turn it around, give it a shake, make sure it's cooking evenly um, and just have a peek at the rice that's still simmering away and give the stew a little stir just to make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. And if you like that really authentic um, Jamaican spicy flavour, then you can pop a whole scotch bonnet chilli in the stew as well and just let it gently infuse. It's super spicy, kind of almost acrid flavour in a good way um, throughout the stew. I don't have any at the moment and also the kids find it a bit too hot for their liking. So um, I just stick with the jerk seasoning, which has some cayenne pepper in it. Spicy kick. So the jerk squash has come out of the oven. It's perfectly soft. Um, it's beautiful caramelised edges. So you can just test it by poking a little knife in to see if it's cooked all the way through. And I'm just going to keep that warm while the rice and the stew finishes off cooking. Okay, so everything's ready. So I'm just going to taste the stew to check the seasoning. really good I would like it with more chili but I can just put some chili flakes on my bowl and the 
rice has absorbed all the liquid. It looks nice and fluffy and creamy. And the squash is ready, so I'm just going to serve up. So as you serve the rice, just look out for those cloves. And you can warn your diners as well about them. And there we have it, a steaming bowl of delicious jerk stew, red beans and rice, and some roasted squash. Yum.